Hi guys, it's me UB Programmer and today we will discuss about how we can draw a model architecture of deep learning. So this is a simple neural network which has two hidden layers, one input layer and of course one output layer and we want to draw it on paper. So we will use this whiteboard here to draw this model. Uh, before that, I want you to know if you are working on any custom project, you can reach out to me on WhatsApp or mail uh, to discuss about that if it's obviously related to the machine learning and AI and stuff. Okay, let's get started with the video. So, we are using Keras uh, to develop a, a model architecture or a neural network, and let's see uh, how we can draw it. Uh, here we have given uh, input layer which is uh, the shape of X train uh, the image shape which is 28 by 28 okay so this this here this whole thing will give us a tuple of 28 by 28 and if we can multiply that 28 by 28 it will give us 784 okay now this 784 we can write it as here also like 784 we can uh, just replace it that but uh, we have uh, made it as a uh, dynamic approach you can say so whatever the size will be will get replaced here so uh, we are not hard, hard coding the values uh, but for a drawing purpose we can use that 784 number so i am drawing the input layer now so this and 784 here in the comment also you can read out uh, using flatten so that any given uh, input can be automatically reshaped into a specific size you know okay it says 7 uh, 28 by 28 if i can sh even show you here uh, i think i have showed somewhere yeah so shape of our image in data set is 28 by 28 okay and yeah that means input layer will have a shape of 784 nodes or neurons so i am drawing neurons here uh, specifically right and what i will do now is just three dot and yeah so uh, these are all the neurons and I am just giving it a value of 784 that means this layer this input layer and uh, I will just write here also input input layer Sorry for the bad handwriting. Uh, I can't just write with the mouse. Okay, so 784 is the total number of neurons in the input layer. Now we will draw the second layer in our model in our neural network, which is a hidden layer, which is uh, decreasing the number of uh, neurons from 784 to 100. Here we have specified 100, right? And it's a dense layer that means all neurons are attached with the uh, within the both layers okay now I can just say here, and, here, yeah. and now it will be hundred neurons and I can just it or connect it like that okay. yeah. so something like that you have to connect all of these from the uh, layers yeah now the third layer in our model is an other hidden layers which is second hidden layer uh, is decreasing hundred neurons to the 50 so let's draw that here, here and just here. Now 
now we have 50 neurons in total and I will just draw or connect them because it is also a dense layer okay. yeah. just draw the lines okay. and now the last layer which is total number of classes for which we have uh, using the model which is in our case it's MNIST digit recognizer so that means 0 to 9 digits uh, 10 digits right so we have final output layer which will have 10 uh, neurons and that means 10 neurons it will also so that will be our output layer so this layer is the output layer output so if you get uh, a task about drawing a neural network you can just specify these neurons at first and then draw the layers okay and then just uh, connect them so these both are what are those hidden layers these are hidden layers this is the first one and this is the second one okay so i hope uh, you get the point about how this model architecture is working and about this relu uh, this is the activation we use for the hidden layers uh, in the all the neurons and the sigmoid is being used for the classification task if you are doing regression you might use some other activation in the output layer okay uh, i hope you like the video i will meet you in the next one thanks for watching